What's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Carhee Show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the show. What's happening, guys? What's happening? Thank y'all for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. Please get the lights up. Get the lights up. Go on here, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment. Let your boy know what you think about it. Salute, salute to the free crowd. Salute to the free crowd. Free heart, heartbreak and heart manipulation. Guys, let's not waste no time. Let's go on and get into it. Every time I turn around, I see these videos in relation to women that blame everything on men that they chose to be with as being narcissists. They always blame their failed relationships on the big bad narcissists. Oh, I can't seem to keep a man because every time I meet a man, he's always a narcissist. Oh, the big bad narcissist. Just like they're narcissist men, they're narcissist women. And guys, here's how you spot narcissist women. First thing is that she's a jealous woman. And if it ain't nothing to be jealous about, she's going to create some jealousy. She's always has drama going on and she's always the victim. It's always her way or no way because she'd rather get it wrong doing it her way than get it right doing it your way. She has low self-esteem and this this and because she got low self-esteem guys, she become obsessed with attention. These are the women that need to be seen. These are the women, if, 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 if being seen ain't good enough, they got to be heard. They need to be on social media, getting likes, getting comments. They got to have eyeballs on them because they need that ego boost. See, we can sit up here and tell women all day long that all these guys on social media that's giving you all this attention, all they want to do is sleep with you. Or even if it's guys where you meet them uh, out and about, we'll tell them all they want. All they want to do is sleep with you. They don't really want to be committed. They don't really want a relationship. You can tell women that all you want. But let me tell you how this thing works with women. Women are in a uh, a strict competition with other women. They are mostly battling with other women as far as competition is concerned. They don't really care about what we say. What they do care about is how they calculate the points in reference to their status and their validation. See, the more eyeballs a woman get on her from men, the more men that want to sleep with them, the more men that want to uh, commit to them, marry them. See, once a man commit and wants to marry a woman, that gives her extra points. Though that's where most of the points. The guys that want to sleep with her, those points add up too. And this is how women calculate their value, their net worth to other women. Because what matters is their status is more higher than the next woman. That is the competition. So yes. We can tell them, hey man, all these dudes want to do is sleep with you. That don't matter. They still gonna calculate his 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 attention. That that goes on the stat sheet. It goes on the stat sheet. And guys, you have to understand how this works because that's why that's why we always, or at least I always hear guys telling women that, hey, we like natural hair. We don't like weeds. We don't like weeds. Women don't care about what you think. They only care about what the other women think. They only care. That's how they measure themselves, guys. Next thing is narcissist women, their lives are messy. Their relationships are messy with their partner. On the job, it's messy. Dealing with family members, it's messy. People at church, it's messy. Whatever they come involved, it, it, it come into contact with or get involved in, it's messy. When things don't go their way, they will try to guilt trip you. And when you don't agree, then they'll try to make you feel bad about you not agreeing. Same way with family members. Same way with co-workers. They want people to feel as they're the victim. And when you don't agree with them, they'll just guilt trip the hell out of you. 
It's always about them, guys. It's always about them. And, 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 and most of all, guys, they want you to take their side. They want you to take their side. Whether they're right or they're wrong, they want you to take their sides. Next thing is they cannot handle criticism of any kind, especially from you and family members. Listen, you can tell them 90% of something about them. You can give them 90% of positive criticism. They only going to listen at the 10%. They're only listening at the 10%. You can give them 90% and they'll only listen at the 10%. Next thing is they quick to point out your flaws because they need to step on you in order to elevate themselves. Now, women will always test you in this way, but narcissists use this as a major form of manipulation because they gotta keep you at, at a certain point. They gotta keep your ego at a certain point. They have to keep uh, your the way you validate them they, they have to make sure that you're doing all those things. So, yes, they make you feel bad so you can elevate them and they use that as a form of manipulation. And they lie about everything. They do a lot of lying, guys. Uh, Sometimes they'll just outright lie. Sometimes they'll outright lie. Hey, well, look, put it like this. They don't lie about every single thing, but... They do a, a whole lot of lying unnecessarily. And most of the time, when women lie, they lie through omission. And this is what a narcissist woman does. She lies through omission, meaning she leave out information. And then when you try to call her ass on it, she turn around, she twist it, make it seem like she either said it, you didn't hear it, or she assumed that you should have understood uh, what she left out as a part of of the story as a part of her explanation that's what they do so they won't they won't they, so they can always circle back and say oh I didn't lie I just thought you knew they play that game guys next thing is they'll try to leave you before you leave them if they get an inkling that you about to leave them then they want to jump on it leave you first because they don't like to be dumped they can't stand it, it, it it's uh it, it's too hurtful and, and it's too much of a blow to their ego. So they'll try to leave you before they before you leave them. If they can't if they can't make it in time to leave you before you leave them and you leave them first, well, they'll try to find ways to punish you. They'll try to find ways to try to make you hurt as much as uh uh you hurt them. And there's no measuring stick for this. It's a dumb way to do things. And there's no way for them to know that you're hurting as much as they're hurting. But guys, these are just a few things when it comes to uh, narcissist women. But I got, you know, I could, I could keep going. But these are some of the main things that you need to look out for. Salute, salute to the free crowd, guys. And until next time, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm out.